It is Foot Trading's first birthday in March, and as our way of saying thank you to the insane support we've had for the last year, we are giving away your choice of an Xbox Series S or a PlayStation 5 Digital to one Lucky Sight subscriber. All you've got to do is be subscribed on the 31st of March in order to be entered automatically. Now, as a reminder, Tier 1 costs £10 a month, and that gives you access to buying and selling prices for special cards, for icons, for silvers, and for... Thursday flips, so much stuff on the website, I'm forgetting what we do. And tier two includes live filters, UCL cards, gold chem styles, and fluctuations with more to be added in the coming days and weeks. There are multiple updates every day on the site, allowing you to trade 24 hours a day, no matter what time zone you are. Don't forget, if you do subscribe to the website, make sure you join the Discord. There are thousands of people in there helping each other to trade and make the most of it. We've got mods, you've got Dan and I, you've got trusted traders, all the stuff you could possibly want to make millions of coins on this game without having to spend any, any of your money on FIFA points. So good luck to everyone that enters. And once again, thank you very much for the amazing support we've had. You guys allow us to do this full time. We're extremely thankful and we never lose sight of that. But for now, let's get into the video. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a new video with me, Fuzzball40. As always, if you're new around here, make sure you do subscribe down below and make sure you turn your notifications on so you never miss an upload. You get three a day on this channel, the morning league SBC method to glory. That is me teaching you guys how to craft players and packs essentially for free once you get the grind going. It is a grind, it is hard work, but it means you can engage in promos, open packs up without using your own hard earned money on FIFA points and keep that in your wallet uh, or purse, whichever one you choose to have. Um, the evening video is a trading video, that is this video. At the moment, we're running a series which is trading from scratch 1k to Bruno Fernandes' team of the year. Uh, and the midnight content is a mixture of packs, picks, trading tips, whatever I think is most relevant for you guys on the game, essentially. Uh, make sure you check out foottrading.co.uk. This month, we are giving away an Xbox Series S or a PlayStation 5 Digital to a site subscriber. It's our way of saying thank you for all the immense support we've had for last year because Foot Trading launched one year ago. It's been an incredible journey. So make sure you check the website out. But like I say, this is trading to Bruno Fernandes. And I was talking yesterday about how when I do the mass investments, it can be a problem for this for the series in terms of basically you've got to wait for EA to drop content. Um, and that can be problematic because when you go and invest in something, if EA don't do it for a few days, it makes it very difficult for me to bring a video up for you guys if basically the content's dead um, and I can't sell the cards that I've bought. However... It looks as if we've finally been saved because EA have bought out the 85 times 5 pack, um, which has been in the code for a little while now. Is that one? Go on, yeah, cool. uh, the 85 times 5 pack, which has been in the code for a little bit now. Um, and so I bought Eunice, uh, this, I mean Eunice, I bought him in and around consistently about 21k or max or less, basically. So I'm now going to be setting him off. So I'm going to show you my transfer pile. We're going to be setting them off bit by bit. Um, they're all here. All these kings as well. I've been trying to overlist them today. I now don't need to overlist them. So basically what this video is going to be is me selling everything off and showing you my coin total afterwards. We've got a lot here. If you remember, we're at 1.0 something million. When before I bought in, that was 1.05 million. So hopefully again, this will pay off. We've also got some Ginters on the transfer pile. They are up because the SBC itself, if I show you, um, requires 75 chemistry. And so if you're going Bundesliga, you arguably might need to use or might want to use someone like a Ginter. Um, or a Boateng to bump up the chemistry for it. So I th I do think the rating requirement on this is a bit too high, in my opinion. Um, but 85 times 5, team of the week minimum 1, and 85 rating. So there's a chance that players like Ginsa do rise. So I'm going to go away and get started selling. And as I'm selling stuff, I'll come back to you guys. I'll see you soon. All right, guys. And so I also remember to show you Dipul. Um, we paid like 20k for these guys at the same time. What Eunice, he's actually up even higher right now. He's about 25 to 26k. Um, we're looking at, I, I guess, in a region of about 3 to 4k profit minimum per card. Um, some of them more. Some of them were just seen for the units we paid 17, 18k for. Um, the max we paid was 21, and that was only on a few of them. So we're looking at very good profit here. Um, I've just got to get them sold, basically. So that's the plan for tonight. But I'm not going to mass list them. Some people are starting to do that, which is very, very annoying. Um, and it's sometimes why I don't put these calls into videos. Because I think sometimes when I put these into videos, you guys go out and do them. And then when it goes up, you just mass list them. And it sort of makes the investment a bit more tricky for other people. So I will have to think twice about whether I do that or not. But now you guys know that's a thing either way. You can go ahead and do it. But like I said, I'm going to keep listing these guys up. Let sales come in and I'll update you as we go. I'll see you soon. All right, guys. So the, the pools are going very, very quickly. Uh, Unices are a bit more of a hard sell. I've sort of lifted them at 24, 24, 250. They do sell. The thing about the Unices is now there's a team with the week required. I could mass list them over, over list them and they will sell. So I'm not too stressed about them at all. But the pools flew out. We got all those sold very quickly. The Michael Keynes have gone. Uh, which I've still got a couple of Michael Keynes 
I think maybe two or three Michael Keens to sell. Um, but so far, so good. We're doing well. Let's see how it pays off. I'll see you soon. All right, guys. So basically, yeah, <laughs> we've cleared off the transfer pile, I think, three times now. So we've got out of unassigned. We're doing all right. Obviously, the units is reporting to have done very well. But we started off selling them quite consistently for 25, and that was good. And then it went down to 23, and then back up to 25 again, which is good. And then someone came along and mass listed them at 23,000 coins. So we're getting, for anyone we paid 20k and below, like 2k on now. Um, but some of them I did get for 16, 17, 18, like I say. So it's still very, very good. Mindful of the fact that about 100k of this was already in there when we started selling these off. And that is not from Fernandez's trading. I don't really know what I can do with that now, realistically. I'll probably just put it foot towards League SPC in the long term. Um, but this is a fodder play coming off. Just not to the level I really wanted it to. We have still got way more to sell. Uh, we're at 1.1 million at the moment. So basically now everything from here is pure profit. So we're probably going to take 300k from this. Give or take maybe 350. Which is good. It's very, very good. But for what I wanted from it, not quite there. Ginters did very well. My Ginters have sold. We were picking these up during lightning rounds. Um, literally at like not a far off discard price. So we're selling for 2,000 coins each. It's brilliant. It's fantastic. Um, but I am really, really iffy about the fact that Unices haven't got up enough. Uh, the flip side is the pool and Keen did very well, so it is what it is. But going to keep selling. Next time you see me now will probably be the morning once everything's sold off. And then tomorrow we'll be looking at what we're buying for squad back rewards and what we're going to be flipping throughout the day to try and boost our coins. So I really need to start getting this now up to the sort of 1.52 million coins so we can start looking at high end specials and icon cards. I'll see you in the morning. All right, guys. So next morning, and a shave job later. <laughs> yes, I've shaved finally. Um, we are basically at 1.4 mil, um, but we've gone and bought into more silver today. So I've been flipping them so far today, but I've bought a mass. Uh, the reason I do this, I tell you this all the time, squad battle rewards usually see silver supply, market comes down if it's slightly, and you're able then to buy into silvers quite cheap and flip them on the same day. Uh, usually an hour or two after you buy them, the market starts rising and you can sell them on. So as you can see, sold the Fuchs. I think we paid 2k for them on stream, sold them for 3k. Um, and basically we'll just get these all flipped on now. It's not gonna be massive, massive profit. I think we spent about 100k so far. Um, maybe, maybe not that much actually. Um, but basically, I'm hoping to get above 1.5, 1.6 million, and then we're in a good place. We're in a great place with Fernandez. That'll be the halfway point, and that'll allow us to really start grinding on now, pushing towards him. I just want to check how much he actually costs at the moment. Um, where is it at the moment? Fernandez. Over weekend league, he got up to 3.3, um, but I'm hoping this week he should see a dip. He's down at 3.2 at the moment, so I'm hoping we see a little bit more of a dip in him as the week progresses, um, which makes him more achievable. I sort of want to pay 3 million ish for him ideally um, but basically yeah gonna go away now sell these silvers up i'll give you an update as we're going um and then really the plan from here on in is going to be special cards and icons that's the main player here i do want to trade with quite a few icons to sort of show you how i do them i think some of you think that when i show you trade with icons it's going to be like massively in detail or anything like that to me as in details i possibly can make it um but really the way you trade with icons is by learning and doing it so i'm going to show you how i do it and then you guys will go out and do it. I think some of you have been saying to me, what are the best icons to trade with? There is no best icon. It's just whatever's good at the time in terms of profit. As you've seen from my SEM, I bought into this SEM when he was at a low. Um, and knowing that he was a low 2.3, he hasn't been anywhere really near that up until this point. So I knew I was relatively safe in buying him at that price. Um, really, it's about knowing that. It's about seeing the trends, seeing where these cards have been at, seeing if when they've hit lows like this before, they've bounced back. All that sort of stuff. So anyway, we'll get into that when I come to it in the next episode or two. For now, going to sell the silvers. I'll see you soon. All right, guys, and just a note for me. If you guys remember in an earlier video, I was saying that my plan for this week was to invest in John Ruddy's during marquee matchups um, because basically Rui Patricio got a team of the week and Ruddy was the next goalkeeper they had and he's only silver. He's expensive as it is because Patricio's an 84. Um, but yeah, just to show you, he rose very heavily this week. Even with supply, he's at 8.5. But we did pick one up at 3.8 today, which is nice. And we will get in and around 8,000. We'll go 7.9 on him. So like, we basically made nearly 4,000 coins profit for one silver. That's how profitable silvers, silvers can be. I don't know what this four shores at. We paid one four early one for him and two nine. So this, this is what I say about silvers. Like, you can double your coins on them, on, on a lot of them. And so it's a really extremely profitable way to, to trade. And it's like, if you've got loads of coins, don't just write silvers off. Like Even if it's once a week on a Thursday, you go and buy... I don't know, 100 overnight, and you stand aside on those. Once you've bought your icons and specials that are listed up, they can be sold, sold tomorrow, but then for the next few days, you can just go and sell those silvers on and make the extra two, 300K. It makes a massive difference. So never turn your nose up at silvers because let's say you buy a 35K special card and you make five, 6K, you're loving that. But I just paid, what, 3,800 for a radio and made the same amount of profit. 
So it's just things like that you have to think about when it comes down to trading. But yeah, going to continue to sell. We've got a few bits sold so far. I'll see you soon. All right, guys. So continuing to sell. And we're, it's really satisfying when it happens. 1.497 million exactly with the flat zeros. Uh, loads of cards have sold. We've still got a few more on the transfer pile selling as we speak right now. But we would definitely break over past 1.5 million, which is a dub. Um, so this is one of those episodes where I'm just sort of showing you how an investment's gone, which is great. You guys saw me do the investment, to be fair, in stream um, and across the streams. So it's just sort of showing you how the investment works and then how we add coins to it the next day. So we don't just go, okay, cool, we've made coins and that's great. We then add to it on top, another sort of 100k today. Um, and then tonight we continue. And that's how you've got to think about trading. It's not just, well, I do this one investment and that's it done. I then continue and continue and continue to keep trying to generate coins at different times in the day with different methods across it. That's why the site has so many methods on it. So you guys can play about with what you want to be doing, what you think works works best in the morning compared to what you think works best in the evening. Um, and you don't need to be on the game for, for 10 hours a day. I'm not. Legitimately, you guys see me do most of this stuff. The Team of the Week investment I did, it took me about 45 minutes to stream. These silvers I bought across an hour on a YouTube stream this morning. And then listing them up takes me half an hour of an evening for the Team of the Week, guys. Maybe a little bit more than that, maybe an hour. And these guys I've listed up over the course of half an hour. It's a few hours each day you can trade. And make coins but even if you don't want to do that an hour two hours a day still makes you two three hundred k if you spend it in the right way and at the right times but yeah i'm going to finish setting this stuff up uh, so i'm going to finish setting this stuff off um and then i'll be back with you sort of a final coin total for this episode and then i will see you soon all right guys so final update as the video need to get back to the editor 1.53 million we are at, at the moment still a few silvers left to sell probably closer to 1.6 once everything sells um and yeah, it's going really well now. I feel like we're motoring on and we're starting to, I guess, now be able to trade multiple times in a day. Before it was sort of buy stuff, wait for it to sell. Now we should be able to sort of trade with some stuff and then some other stuff. And we can sort of move it around what the content is. And I have to say, so far for What If, the content has been very good. I probably underlisted some of these silvers a bit more than I would do normally. Um, purely because I want to be liquid for 6pm to see what EA bring out. Because so far for What If, there's been relatively consistent content. Um, the, the daily SBC for a premium gold players pack, which was good, it was tradable. The gold players pack, meh. The Rafinha card was not my cup of tea, but a few people did him. I probably probably priced just about right, maybe a little bit expensive. The 85 times 5 was a big fan of that. The upgrade packs, big fan of that. So far for me, what if's good. And you can tell people are engaging with what if, because silver prices are up. Now, that's partly because EA have withheld silver supply. But when it, when it, when a promo's good, I always say to you guys, look at the price of the silvers you know. Because when silver prices are up, it means people are engaging with the promo, crafting league SBC packs, um, and they want to open packs up to try and pack the players. So you can always tell a good promo when they're up. If you remember Team of the Year, a lot of the cards were extinct completely, even for random teams. Um, and right now we're seeing Bielefeld very high, Cadiz very high. So it's a very, very good time to trade with silvers at the moment, but also to trade with the content. If a lot of people are engaging with the content, that means there are coins to, to be made. And the one thing I've really, really liked about What If is how stable the market has stayed. The, they haven't really shot the market, the What If cards themselves. I think because they feel gaps that, te that leagues had to a degree, they haven't really shot the market. So if anything, they've complemented the market and it's been very, very stable. Special cards have done very well. Um, icons are doing very well. And so I'm excited for what's to come. Once we get to everything sold off and we're liquid for 6pm, I'll be able to trade in. And like I say, I can trade across multiple different methods now, which is very, very good. Like I say, I do want to show you guys icons. I'm probably thinking get to 2 mil and then start working with icons a little bit and see what we can do there. But that's going to be the end of this video. If you are new around here, as always, make sure you subscribe down below. Make sure you turn your notifications on so you never miss an upload. Three a week, don't forget that. And check out foottrading.co.uk for your chance to win an Xbox Series S or a PlayStation 5 Digital. But for now, I am out. Peace out. I'll speak to you soon.